a circuit from an NPN silicon high frequency transistor tester. In fact, it's a non stable multi vibrator with very low capacitors here from the collector to the base and from the collector to the base here. That means that the frequency is very high. When you bridge this cap, you get an, to another frequency band. But anyway, this is the whole circuit. Works on 12 volts, also on 9 volts. But it's very important to tell that the potentiometer here gives the circuit a very low voltage. That voltage is between 0.8 and 1.5 volts. And that means that um, the transistor under test here starts to oscillate. Here is now that transistor under test. And it oscillates on 559 kilohertz. And this is the waveform at the moment. Here we read 12.2 volts, but uh, it's important again that the voltage to this circuit must be very low to make it work. It does not work on 12 volt, it doesn't even work on 4 volts, only this range, this frequency, sorry, this uh, voltage range is the range where the high frequency transistor starts to oscillate. Of course you can use such a device, I've used it also in the past. But the best test from a transistor, a high frequency transistor or whatever transistor, is uh, in a circuit where you can conclude that it oscillates, that it works, that it has a certain amplification factor. This transistor also must have a certain amplification factor, it's 50. So when you want to do it all very experimental, you can use here for instance the BD139. It also works up to 180 megahertz. I have not tested it, but anyway. Here we have the decoupling unit. Without that decoupling unit it doesn't work. And with this pot meter we set the oscillation. So here is that pot meter, 1K, with a series resistor from 4K7. And again, let's see what happens. I turn the pot meter now. Now it's, I don't know the exact voltage, but anyway, when you turn the pot meter back, we go to the uh, 0 0.8 up to 1.5 volt range. Frequency gets lower and now it doesn't oscillate any longer. And I have tested it somewhat and I found that low frequency transistors don't uh, give an oscillation. So only high frequency transistors work. So that's a good indication, I think, for the usability from this circuit. I'm changing now the supply voltage and you can see the frequency changes. And now here on the counter, supply voltage changed and again changed. So quite high frequency, 9, 7, uh, 7 kilohertz. The frequency also depends on these two, the value from these two caps, this one and this one. You can also use other caps, say between 220 picofarad and 1000 picofarad and it always works. Of course, when the transistor here, the transistor under test is OK.
I did not test it, it with germanium transistors. Perhaps it, that will also work, but I don't know. They are quite obsolete.